What's up guys, we are back for more Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Um, so there's a fan running in the background, I hope that's not too much of a bother. Um, hope it's not making a bunch of noise. It's on the lowest setting right now. I can turn it off later, if need be. But uh, so last episode, we got this house built. Uh, you know, it's pretty basic, it's not the most fancy thing in the world, but it looks good enough. Uh, stupid leaves here. Um, this episode, I want to start on some farms. So, once I finish clearing these... Okay, you know what? They'll clear themselves. Over here, there is uh, some really flat areas, and I think they would be great places for farms. Since they're flat, they're, there's no need to... Uh, like flatten them out or anything since you know they're already flat i've said it a bunch of times now yeah there's no need for it and so it would be a great place to get some farms set up so that's what i plan to do this episode uh, and if there's more time uh if there's more time then i might do a bit of mining a bit of a mining session since i did find a nice ravine it's not in the footage but i did find a ravine while getting stone for the house so i could explore that all right, so I got a bunch of wood, very nice. Um, this should be enough to build farm. Um, I'm not planning on building such a massive one, so it should be enough. So yeah, let's get to it. So there is this massive area, although I wouldn't want it to be too ridiculously far away from my house since it will be a good food source. Um, so it's just, I should find a good place for it. You know, I shouldn't build it like really off in the distance. All right, you know what? I'm gonna settle on this area since it's not, it strikes a good balance. It's really big and flat, so plenty of farms could fit there. But then it's also not terribly far away from my house, like it's over there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna build it right here. Okay, you know, I just realized I'm partway through building the sort of frame. I just realized that I can't get any water to it. So I will need to take a quick break from building this in order to get some iron and make a bucket. All right, so now I'm off to get some iron. As I mentioned earlier, I did find a ravine. I'll get these saplings first. As I mentioned earlier, I did get a ravine. Um, I found one, I mean. Okay, I'll need to move this tree. But the, uh, okay, I keep getting interrupted, but there's, there's a ravine here. And thankfully there is some exposed iron, so it's not gonna be a big hassle to get. All right, so I got some iron, 11 iron, and some also some coal too. Although unfortunately it's night time, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up the iron uh, using my newfound coal, and I'm gonna spend the night. All right, so we got ourselves a bucket. Uh, the rest of the iron is cooking in the furnace. I'm just gonna leave that alone, let it do its thing, and I'm gonna continue working on the farm. All right, and there we go. Uh, got the water all filled up there. I just need to create a hoe there. And uh, some wheat seeds. So you notice I just got the more tools achievement. I'm getting a lot of achievements all over again because I created a new Xbox 360 profile for it just for this uh, Let's Play. So that's why I'm getting a bunch of uh, like easy to get um, achievements. I'm gonna need more wood in order to finish this second one. I think right here I'm gonna put potatoes in this one because potatoes, I like them more than bread as a food source just because uh, you get several potatoes upon harvesting them and even though you gotta cook them, it restores the same amount of hunger as bread and so you just get more food overall from potatoes. I think it's just worth it. All right, it's almost nighttime, so I got two farms set up. That's really nice. I do need a lot more seeds, though. I need many more seeds, so I should uh, get some more. I'll do that in the morning, though. I gotta make my way back home. All right, so I spent the night and cooked some food. My next mission is to get seeds for the farms to make sure that they're operating at full capacity. Now, I figured what I could do is I could kill two birds with one stone and... Uh, uh, kill some grass or cut some grass um, over in an area that I have not explored yet since I like to preserve the uh, the natural look of the land that includes grass 
and so I wouldn't like to cut down grass that's in my immediate area, but if I do it somewhere else, that's fine, because even though it destroys the natural look, you know, I still, I need the seeds, my, and might as well do it in an area where I do not spend most of my time. The last episode, I was talking about how uh, the developers really designed this game with the player's best interest in mind. And here's another example of that that I've just noticed. Um, grass drops wheat seeds noticeably more often than on Java Edition. It's a nice quality of life thing. Like, you know, you just don't gotta break as much. Alright, so now I've got 35 seeds, so that should be enough to get, like, it's enough to finish one of the farms, the other will remain empty, but that's fine for now. And there we are, got one of them finished and the other one is started. Although, this one, it's not such a big deal, because once I get potatoes, I'm going to immediately replace uh, the wheat seeds with potatoes. So the recording's been going on about uh, 27 minutes, it says, uh, but I'm confident that if I ended it here, it would be a lot shorter than the last episode, since um, it would be more cut down. There's not a lot interesting about building a farm. So I'm going to do a quick mining trip. Ooh, there's two Endermen there. That, they will be useful. Oh, I forgot that water doesn't prevent your fall. Anyways, those Endermen, they'll be useful for beating the game. I don't need them yet. Like, I'm not prepared to take those down. I guess, I guess it's time for an autosave. But yeah, I will beat the game eventually. Just not right now. It's not my focus right now. Ooh, where did you come from? It, it just showed up there. Huh. Anyways, uh, I was about to say before that happened that I think too many people focus on beating the game too quick. Because to many pe to many people take the end literally. It's like. It doesn't have to be the end of the world, end of your world, though. But a lot of people just rush to the end too quickly. Like you don't really have to. Now I know, I know the elytra is really tempting, and uh, like end city loot is really good. But it's just you don't need to rush to it immediately. You know, you're free to take your time. You can beat it whenever you want. It's still, it'll be there waiting. Oh, that looks like gold down there. That's nice. Ooh, that's a dungeon. Or sp spawner or whatever. I I, don't, I forget what they're called. But I have to hurry. Let's get this covered up. Excellent. Let's see what's here. Ooh, saddle. Uh, wait, no, there, there are no horses in this version. Well, that's disappointing. In the 1.0 version of Minecraft, getting experience is pretty difficult. Um, that and you need a lot more of it for enchanting, so this could help a lot. Now it is a spider spawner, which is a, which is harder to make a grinder out of, but I'm sure I can make it work. This looks like a perfect place for diamonds. Like once you see lava in these older versions of Minecraft, lava is a great indicator for diamonds. So if I were to find diamonds on the second episode, that would be amazing. 63 iron right now, so... Um, yeah, there. Uh, I'll mine this and then I'll go back to the surface. Okay, you know what? You know what I think I'm going to do here? Rather than go up the way I came, I'm going to build a staircase down to this spawner. Having easy access to this grinder would be great, so I don't have to follow, so I don't have to go down like an, a uh, big net of caves, that would suck. Alright, here we are at the surface, it's kind of slightly into a, a mountain side, but I'll need to mark that, and I'll use some cobblestone to create a sort of pillar. I'm creating the pillar like this. Uh, this is a tip from the Minecraft Essential Handbook. If anyone remembers those, you are a legend. If you build it up like this, then you can mine your way back down. 
Oh, it's actually very close to my house. That's great. It's just a quick walk. All right, home again, home again, jiggity jig. Um, I got a lot of iron, some gold, not a crazy amount. No diamonds, unfortunately. So I, I consider it all in all pretty successful, pretty successful. All right, so I got the iron cooking in the furnaces. Uh, I'm gonna do the gold afterwards. So I guess that marks the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.